okay so let's get our tools of trade ready i'm coming to the view tab and i'm coming to enable bookmark pain and selection pain but because i'm not ready to use them yet i will minimize them here and here respectively now we need to play the scripts again in our heads so here is the script this is the default view of this page but it is going to have a button here that should say something like ask your own question so i'm going to go to the insert tab and i'm going to come to buttons i will select blank button so when i click on blank button it goes right to the top left hand side of my page I like to use the ellipses to drag and reposition objects. So I'm going to drag from there all the way to this section. Then I can try to expand it a little bit to ensure that it's going to take the text that I want to type in. Now, anytime you are working with shapes and objects in Power BI Desktop, formatting that have to do with colors that have to do with the uh, text and so on and so forth you will find them under the style formatting option from the format right so if i expand style i'm going to put on the text first then in the text box i'm going to type ask your own question then i will scroll down and make sure that the font color is white so that it can be visible and when I scroll down again, I'm going to expand the border and I'll also make that white. Now, let me click out and see what it looks like. All right, so I think this looks okay. So, again, back to the script. This should be the default of this page. These two visuals are being displayed, and I have this button that says Ask Your Own Question. Now, when a user clicks on ask your own question, it should take them to another page, right? It should take them to another view. So we need to design what that view will look like. This is where I'm going to expand my selection pane. And I'm thinking in my head right now, whenever a user clicks on this ask your own question, it's going to take us to a different view. In that different view, this button will no longer be showing. A different button is what we are going to have. That's a button that can bring us back here. So I need to create that button that will show when we get to the next view and hide this one. So the easiest way I can think of doing that now and retaining the same formatting and the same positioning I have here is to select this button. Then I'm going to press Ctrl C on my keyboard and control v copy and paste then immediately i do that i have to make sure to differentiate between these two buttons the latest one is the one i just created i'm going to click on it and i'm going to say okay this button actually is to go back to default right so let's just call it go back to default however the text that should be inside will no longer be asked your question isn't it so i'll go back to style and i'm going to change this text to back to default right so back to default then i want to place it exactly on the same place where this one is i'll use my guides to figure out if it's there or not remember we are currently designing view number two in that view number two one button is going to be there that button is going to allow users to go back to the default view therefore that button that allows users to go back to default view is supposed to be displayed the earlier button we created that brings them here is supposed to what disappear therefore i'm going to have to hide this button that's the earlier button right of course i can double click and i can rename this button as um ask question button right so now what else are we supposed to have on this view number two key inferences is not supposed to be there so i'm going to hide it the composition tree is not supposed to be there i'm going to hide it what we are supposed to have next 
is Q and A visual. So I'm going to add this our Q and A visual, and I'm going to resize and position it how I would like it to be displayed. So just to resize and reposition, I'm going to come to format, and uh, I will go to general effects, and I'm going to put on the shadow. Of course, this is just to allow the demarcation to show easily. So this is the second view. On this second view, a user will use this Q and A visual to type in a question. We'll come back to this later. And when they are done, they will click on this button back to default. Now, when they click on this button back to default, it should take them to a default page. Before I move on, I would like to expand my bookmarks pane and I would like to capture this page like this by clicking add. Then I can rename the bookmark and call this bookmark. Um, this is going to be Q and A view. So again, in this script, this is what you should have. In the Q and A view, this button will be there, back to default. When a user clicks on the button, then what should happen? When a user clicks on the button to go back to default view, this Q and A chart should be hidden. This button back to default should be hidden and this one should show up. The key influencers should show up. The decomposition tree should show up. Then I'm going to click add again to capture this view. I will double click and I will rename this view as default view. So let's test. If a user clicks on ask a question, it's going to go to Q&A view like this. Now, when the user clicks on back to default view, it's going to come back to the default view like this. So now I'm going to close my selection pane and I can even close my bookmarks pane. The only thing I want to do now is to ensure that when somebody clicks on this button here, something should happen. Right now, the button is just there and it's a dummy. So when you click on this, I want something to happen. So I'm going to come to the format. I will go to action and I'll put on the action. Then I'm going to expand the action. And the type of action I want is to action a bookmark. And the bookmark I want to be actioned should be what? When the user clicks, ask your own question. It has to take me to the Q&A view. So now I can test it by holding control and clicking ask your own question. And you see it brings me right here. This new button on this page is currently inactive, right? It's not active yet. It's a dummy. But when the user clicks on this button, I want the user to be returned back to the default view. So I need to put on action on this button. And the type of action should be a bookmark. And the bookmark should be the bookmark I created called default view. So now if I control click on it to test it out, it goes to this page, which is the default view. If I click ask your question, it comes here to the Q&A view. So you see, it's a lot. It takes proper planning before you can implement this correctly and accurately. You should try it and follow the steps over and over again to create your own and you should be good. So I'm just going to go back to the default view and come back again to ask your own question view. Then we can come to talk about the Q&A visual.